and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. Don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down there and hit the little bell next to it. And then every time I put out a review, you will get a reminder that I have some new content. So today I am so excited to show you this new little budget wig from the Statements Collection for the Wig Company. And this wig is called Luxurious. So you may remember that I did a review a while back, about a month ago, I guess, of this wig called the Rock Me wig. And Rock Me was from this same collection for the wig company. And I did, I purchased Rock Me because I got this great deal. She was $39.88 because she was actually in their clearance section. But she's a gorgeous, if you remember, gorgeous long wig. And I said I would give a little update on her, so I'm gonna cover that real quick. So she has worn great. I have put her to her paces. I mean, I have worn her up in a messy bun and I've done all kinds of stuff to her and she still, the fibers look good. I mean, I really closely examined her today. I'm not, I'm only seeing a few little fibers, you know, that look like they've been pulled or whatever. The ends on her have gotten a bit dry but they're not terrible. They're not frayed or, you know, anything like that. They just look a little bit dry. So she probably just needs a good, you know, conditioning down there on the ends. I actually think I'm going to whack these ends off because I've always felt like she was just a little bit too long for me. But I purchased her because I wanted to be able to show some budget-friendly options for those of you who need to save a little money on some wigs. And I was really excited to find this little line because they have some cute pieces and they're very budget-friendly. So Rock Me, like I said, was in their clearance section. And so she was $39.88 and she is still available. I checked today and there are still some of her available in that clearance section at that price. So if you're still interested in that Rock Me wig, go back and watch my review for that and go to the wig company and pick one up. So <clears throat> this piece is called Luxurious and it's from the same line. As you can see, it's a bit shorter piece, um, really a more manageable length in my opinion. I. I love how I look in long hair, but as far as everyday wear, long hair just doesn't always work for me. It's, you know, it's a lot of maintenance. You have to comb it. I, you know, I did find that the Rock Me wig would tangle, but I have found that with other more expensive brands that long hair, it just tangles. You know, it's rubbing on fabric, it's getting blown in the wind, whatever. And, you know, you're gonna have to go through and kind of comb those in. So this one definitely has a more manageable length. So while we're talking about the length, let's just get into the measurements here of Luxurious. So Luxurious is 4.3 ounces, really, really light density, comfortable piece. Uh, she is six inches here in the front. She is eight inches on the top, 10 inch sides. She's got some layers and um, 11 and a half inch back here in the back and then her nape is eight inches. So she's got some length. I'll do a turn so you can see her from all the way around. So front, my right side, really pretty. The back, left side, and then back to the front. So you can see it on that, on that back view, she's got a cute little flip, which I really, really like. I just think the, it makes the ends light and they kind of flip up there and just she's just a really cute piece. So the color on this one is called F826, which they describe as a warm brown blonde. And it's definitely, to me, I see an ashy brown and I see a definite blonde highlight going through that. So, um, you know, an eight typically is a brown that's a more, more um, ashy medium brown. And um, of course that 26 is in the blonde range. So uh, you can see that definite blonde highlight, but it's not overdone. It's not, you know, super chunky, but it is definitely visible. But I think it's very pretty. I, I think the colors, you know, looks very natural. So very, very pretty color. So um, she is the same cap construction as Rock Me. She has a lace front and a mono part. So I'll show you that lace front. Lace front again is, I mean, at this price point, so this one goes for 119. It is not in their on their in their clearance section. So 119 is the everyday price on it, and um, you know the lace front is well done. It's you know they kind of lighten those hairs going towards the end, like some of the more expensive wig makers do. You know, really really nice job on the lace front. So and then the mono part is there's a little bit. It's a little bit tight, I mean, it's a little bit narrow. I would probably 
give that a little bit of a pluck there and just, you know, make it a little bit wider, but it's not bad. I mean, you can see the appearance, you know, of scalp coming through there. So, I mean, it, to me, it looks natural. People aren't like this right on top of your head. <laughs> We're the only ones that judge ourselves that close usually. So, so really, really cute little wig. So let me pop her off and I'll show you the inside of the cap. So, like I said, she has a mono part and she has a lace front. And then she's got uh, the ear tabs on these are, this one, the ear tabs don't look quite as long, but um, they attach a lot of hair to the front of these ear tabs and it works really well for when you're pulling them back. So I really like that. So it's got the uh, velvety ear tabs. It has the Velcro adjusters, extended velvety nape, and then open cap all through here. There's some closed lace up here, but not a lot of permatease. This, this piece is, is low density, um, really cute, or I think very wearable piece. You know, I, I like um, pieces that are lower density, as you know. So as far as the only complaint I have, if it's not really a complaint, but it's something for me to note, it doesn't really cause a problem for wearing the wig or anything, but they do have, um, the metal is just a very thin piece in these ear tabs. So once I get it in place, it's fine, but they do pull away a little bit. They're a little bit flimsy, but the cap fits really well. You know, it's right in the right place on my face, would give you coverage if you had hair there. Of course I don't. Um, and you know, fits really well around my ears. So I'm just really happy with, um, <laughs> with these, uh, wigs so far, you know, I've only seen two, but um, I'm really happy with this little line. I think it's a great option, like I said, if you're wanting to try some styles, you know. One thing about this style, and I said this on my Instagram the other day, and I wanted to show y'all this. This is my John Renault L wig. Get back there, she's kind of glowing, whoo, in the light. Um, but you can see she has kind of a face, a long face framing bang, and then her end, she's not as long, um, she's just a bit shorter but her ends kind of flip out a little bit, you know, uh, they've got some, the texture's lightened there at the ends and just a really pretty style. And Elle is one of my all time favorite wigs and I wear her all the time. Now, of course she is a mono top. She is a more expensive wig, but you know, if you were looking at Elle or a style similar to her and you just weren't sure if it would work with your face and with your features or whatever, you know, you could try this less expensive option. I just, I find them to be very similar. When I put it on my head, I was like, oh, this reminds me of Elle. So uh, very, very similar. So I'll show you how I've been styling her. My favorite thing with her, of course you can do all the, you know, pull her back in a clip. You can let these bangs come down a little bit. Um, you know, you can do all those kind of styles. And I like the way those bangs just frame the face. It looks really good, but she works really, really well as a ponytail. And um, great thing that she has an extended nape, because if I'm gonna put a wig up in a ponytail, I really like to have an extended nape on it. So, but she works really, really well for that. And this is where I'll show you those ear tabs, even though they are a bit flimsy, they work fine. I mean, they're, you know, they're not raising up out of place. They're staying where they should. And then those bangs just naturally frame the face, which I think is really cute, but really cute in a ponytail. So I just love that. I think she's versatile. I think I'm gonna wear her a lot. She's lightweight, she's super comfortable. Like I said, she's low density. So I'm just really happy with the style. So I'm happy to share it with you. I wanna thank the wig company for sending me this wig and I will put a link below where you can find it on their website uh, down in the information section. And as always, I thank you so much for watching my reviews. Don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it and I will see you real soon. Until then, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.